Hello friends, I am Pankaj Kumar and you are watching Mechanical Engineering Knowledge Junction. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to analyze a structure or a truss in ANSYS Mechanical APDL. Before starting this tutorial, I want to say that if you like this video, please hit like and subscribe button and don't forget to share this video with your friends and family and also leave your comments and suggestions in the comment section. So this is about a structure which we want to go into which we are going to analyze in ANSYS Mechanical APDL 16.0. Consider point 1 as origin and we are going to draw this structure in the ANSYS Mechanical. So we have to find first of all the coordinates of each and every point. So point 1 is 0 0 and for point 2 if we draw the perpendicular from point 2 downward then we can find the x distance as 1.8 meter and y distance is given by 3.118 meter similarly we can find the coordinates of each and every point given in the question so let's draw this problem in ansys mechanical apdl so open ansys mechanical apdl click on preferences click on structural then click ok now click on preprocessor then click on element type then click on add edit delete then click on add now select link and 3d finite STN 180 this is the safe function now click OK close this minimize element type and then go to real constant click on add edit delete click on add click on OK now give the cross section area as 4 500 mm square now click OK and close this window now also minimize the real constant click on material properties click on material models click on a structural then click on linear then click on elastic then click on isotropic and give the value of Young modulus as 2e5 so 2e5 is angst modulus and poisons ratio is 0.33 now click ok and close this window and minimize the material property go to modeling then create click on create you can solve this problem by creating key points as well as nodes if you create key point then you will have to miss it so i am going to create with nodes so i am going to create it with nodes so we can't we do not have to mess it so click on nodes then click on inactive coordinate system if the boxes are empty and you click on apply then it will automatically take the origin position so click on apply so point one is created now point for point two keep the x and y coordinate so x coordinate is 1800 mm and i'm going to input the length in mm uh, but the question but uh, the length here is given in meter so if you solve the question in ansys mechanical apdl then give the length in mm so i'm going to give x coordinate as 1800 mm and y coordinate as 3118 4.2 now click apply 4.3 is as 3600 is x coordinate and y coordinate is 0 click apply 4.4 5400 edge x coordinate and y coordinate is at 3118 now click apply uh, 4.5 7200 mm edge x coordinate and y coordinate is 0 now click apply and 4.6 x coordinate is at 900 9000 mm and y coordinate is at 3118 mm now click apply and the last coordinate is that is seventh coordinate is x coordinate as 10800 and y coordinate at 0 now click ok don't click on apply if you click on apply then will double point will be created so click ok thus we have got the seven points now we have to join each and every point join each and every node so minimize nodes and then click on element then click on auto numbered then click on through nodes now select the nodes which you want to join so select node 1 and 2 now and 3 and then click apply 3 and 4 3 and 5 then click apply 5 and 7 then click apply 5 and 7 and 6 then click apply 6 and 4 then click apply and 4 and 2 then click apply 1 and 2 click apply now if you see the question there is uh, 2 3 point connection and uh, 3 4 5 6 uh, are also connected so connect this point select 2 3 click apply 3 4 
click apply four five click apply and five six click apply now click on ok and then minimize this thus we have got 11 elements as per given in the question now we are going to apply the loads we are not going to mess it since we have created the structure by using nodes so click on loads then click on define loads then click on apply then click on structural and then click on displacement and then click on nodes so first point is fixed so select first point and then click on apply and select all degree of freedom and then click on apply so we have fixed all degree of freedom and now select point number seven and then click on apply and then select ui one since this is simply supported so click ok thus we have applied the structural load now we are going to apply the force so click on minimize the displacement and click, then click on force moment and then click on nodes so if you see the question at point one three five and seven the loads are respectively 280 kN, 210 kN, 280 kN, 360 kN. So uh, we are going to apply this load. Select point 1 and then click apply and then select here FY and enter the value of load as minus 280 kN, that is 280,000 Newton. We have selected minus since the direction of force is downward. So now click apply now select point number three and then click apply and give the value as 210 kilo newton and then click apply and the point five is 280 kilo newton and point seven is 380 kilo newton 360 kilo newton so select point five and then click on apply and give the value as 280 kilo newton and click on apply and select point 7 and then click apply and give the value as 360 kilo newton so minus 360,000 and then click ok thus we have applied the force according to the question now we are going to solve this so minimize the preprocessor and go to solution then click on solve then click on current ls then click ok thus our problem is solved so you can see here now close this and close this window and minimize the solution for getting the results, uh, click on general post, post procedure, then click on plot result, then click on deform shape. Here you can see the different diagrams like deform shape only, deform plus and deform shape, and the last one is deform plus and deform edge. So I'm going to see the deform plus and deform shape edge, and then select this and then click OK. So this is the deform plus and deform shape diagram if you want to see the animation video of this structure then go to plot controls then click on animate then click on deform shape and then select the deform plus and deform shape and then click ok so this is the animation video of how structure is deforming under the loop now close this if you want to see the vec displacement factor sum then click on counter plot then click on nodal solution then click on degree of freedom solution then click on displacement vector sum and now click ok so this is the displacement vector sum and the value is maximum at this point and minimum at origin similarly if you want to see the stress then also click on node solution then click on a stress and bring down the arrow and select the bone mysis stress then click ok so this is the bone mysis stress distribution in the structure now if you want to see the value of displacement vector sum then click on minimize plot result then click on res list result click on nodal solution click on displacement degree of freedom solution then click on displacement vector sum and then click ok so this is the point nodes number of nodes 1 to 7 and the value of ux uy uz and the ultimate or maximum value I. so we have all values are here now close this window and if you want to see the value of uh, value of reaction then you uh, then go to reaction solution click on reaction solution select all items then click ok so at point one and at node one and node seven the value of fx, fx and fy and fz are given here so close this window and if you want to see the nodal loads then click on nodal loads 
and then select all items and then click OK. So this is the node number and the value of fx, fy and fz are given according to the calculation. Similarly, you can see the various result of various parameters under the general post procedure by selecting the particular uh, parameters. So thus we can analyze the structure in ANSYS Mechanical APDL. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe my channel. Bye-bye.